Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, first off, I am in my bedroom. From now on, I'm probably going to be in my bedroom. So just letting y'all know, just because, I don't know, I love when I watch girls' videos and they're in their bedroom. It just, it seems more chill. And I also just brought all my stuff in my bedroom just because, I don't know, I just like it better in my room. So yes, all my lighting and everything is here. So yeah, I hope y'all don't mind this background. Uh, but guys... This is my life now. This and Mr. Miles, he's in the living room, but you guys, I don't think I've officially shown Casey on camera. He's so tall, you guys, like, it's crazy. Hi, say hello. <laughs> he's looking at the mirror, say hi everyone. He just for, uh, turned four months today, actually. Perfect timing to show him. But yeah, he is just the sweetest little, tiniest little, cutest little baby ever. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this makeup look using pretty much all drugstore products. The only thing that I didn't use drugstore was the setting spray. I used a new brow product that I've been loving from Elf, the bite-sized eyeshadow little quad things that I'm super impressed with. So real quick, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to join the fam. So yeah, please keep watching if y'all want to see how I got this drugstore pretty simple Valentine-ish look. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm taking the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I never do my brows on here. You guys already know that. I hate doing them, but I've actually been loving this, and I want you guys to see how it works. This is, like, such a nice drugstore little pencil. So I said, you know what, I'm going to show my subscribers this because it's so affordable and I've just really been loving it. You guys know I always use my Anastasia gel, but this is like so much easier. And it's like so fast, so. I always like do it messily when I'm doing my brows. And then that's why I always have to clean them up. So that they look nice and well cleaned up and I don't have to worry too much at first to like I don't have to worry about being precise because then I could just clean it up so that's that and then the spoolie is nice as well it's like so literally micro tiny 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 so really really nice we're gonna do this brow I went ahead and primed my eyelids. I just used the e.l.f. Uh, medium sand shade, the camo concealer, the matte one. Before I go in with the eyeshadows, I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. bronzer. I just feel like it's a nice base for the look that I'm doing today, so this bronzer is really nice. Y'all can take any bronzer, obviously. Like, they're all gonna give like a nice brown shade that's what we want like a warm undertone okay now i will go in with the elf bite size eyeshadow carnival candy palette these are so cute i used it the other day and you guys i was so impressed with these eyeshadows like so 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 impressed um i think i want to take more like i want to go a little bit more of the pinky route so I'm not going to go ahead and take this shade like I normally would. I love this shade. It's so nice. So we're just going to skip on to this shade since we already have the bronzer. I'm going to take Morphe M433. And again, we're taking this shade right here. Tip off the excess. We're just going to pop this right in here. Guys, look at that pigmentation. It is so nice. They're so easy to blend. I feel like a lot of drugstore shadows are so easy to blend. That's one of my, like, favorite things. So, yeah, look at that. Like, it is such a pretty shade. It's very true to the pan as well, like, the shade on the pan. Another thing I love. So, yeah, we're just placing this in here. Oh, my gosh. I'm cooking cheddar broccoli soup, and it smells so good. It's in that crock pot. And it's been like two hours and it smells so nice. It's making me hungry. I'm going to blend out that shade with just the tiniest touch. And really tap off the excess of that shade. And we're going to blend her out. And to blend it, by the way, I'm using the M513 
Morphe brush. M513, sorry. Like, we don't even have to do much blending because it's just so easy. Okay, I'm going to take a NYX uh, glitter primer that is so beat up, but like I said, I use this so much. And I'm going to just take, I'll take a brush. I'm taking this Real Techniques lip brush. I love using lip brushes for like the lid whenever I'm applying my glitter primer. <gasps> what is it? You silly. He's so silly. We're adding a little bit of that, and then I'm gonna take the eyeshadow rose water palette. And to be honest, guys, I'm not a huge fan of the two matte shades in this palette, but the two, the two shimmer ones are very pretty, actually. So we're gonna go in with this one first. What are you saying? And I'm gonna pop one right in the center first. And then I'm gonna take the lighter shade and I'm gonna pop that one more in the inner part of the eye. And they're so pretty. By the way, guys, my son is okay. <laughs> he loves making like those noises right there. And he'll sit there and like fakely cough. It's so funny. So. He's okay, I promise. He just ate, he slept for like almost four hours. So I know he's very well rested, so he's okay. So yeah, since I'm not a huge fan of the matte shades, I'm gonna go ahead and just close up this little palette. We're not gonna use that anymore. But I'm just gonna go back with that brown shade and blend out the shimmers a little bit. Okay, so I want a little bit more of a darker shade, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the New York, uh, Nudes of New York palette from Maybelline, and we're gonna take Voyager and Self Starter, just because like I want a little bit more darkness, and those two little palettes that I have don't have it. And this tiny little pencil brush, this is JH39. I'm just gonna put a little bit out here and bring it in just a touch. And I'm gonna wing it out just a little bit. Now I'm just blending it real quick. Okay, so now I'm just curling my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara. I'm gonna pop on some falsies as well. Today I'm using the intoxic Intoxicating Lashes from Flutter. While I wait for the glue to get tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and prime to my face. I'm gonna use the Master Prime Primer from Maybelline. This is the Blur and Illuminate one. I still can't believe anything else is coming out because <laughs> it's like gone, but. This is such a beautiful primer, oh my goodness. It's like a moisturizer, and it like gives you such a pretty glow. I love it. Then I am taking the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is just like the first one I ever bought, and I still have it, so uh, that's why we're using this, but I'm just gonna put it on my T-zone area. And that's about it. Okay, so for foundation, I'm taking my favorite drugstore foundation. This is, this is the Infallible 24 Wear uh, foundation in the shade 470 Radiant Honey. Okay, so change of plans. I was emptying out all my makeup and I threw away the wrong one. This is the empty that I had. And like, like literally, it's empty. I cannot believe I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. It's the dewy one. This is the Golden Beige medium warm shade but yeah if it was up to me i'd be using my l'oreal one i literally feel like that one is just so blurring it looks so pretty it's a beautiful matte it's not too matte this one's beautiful as well but like for special occasions i prefer the l'oreal one to be honest but um here we are using this one and it's gonna be all right but this color is so nice like it always fits me so well Okay, I'm going to go ahead and conceal and cream bronze at the same time. Well, I'm going to bronze first, then conceal, but I'm going to already put my concealer on just because I feel like I like when it sits on my face a little bit. This is the wrong shade. This is the Hydrating Camel Concealer from e.l.f. Literally my all-time favorite drugstore concealer, to be honest. This is the light peach shade. 
Can I stop saying to be honest now? <laughs> It's just literally what it is. It's like hydrating. The coverage is really nice. It just feels really good. And it's like brightening. At least this shade is. And to cream contour, I'm taking the Makeup Stick Contour one. This is from Wet n Wild in the shade Oaks on You. And this is actually like a lighter shade. This is more for like right now that I'm a little pale. Normally I use the other one, but I, I already finished it, which is crazy. But yeah, for the contour, I'm going to use the same foundation brush and just blend it out. By the way, I'm using the JH03. To blend out my concealer, I'm taking the Wet n Wild P65 brush. This is such a cute brush. Hi! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god, he wants to come up here. Oh! Say hello! No, you cannot touch my camera. This is the problem that I have when filming when he's awake because he just wants to touch my camera. I can't film if you'll be touching my camera, buddy. Oh my goodness, you're so crazy. But just like look at the coverage on this concealer. It's so nice. No, bebe. No, no lo puedes agarrar. No. No, baby, you can't touch it. If I'm cream contouring, I like to always kind of go over the concealer just a little bit one more time because I feel like the concealer sometimes just goes a little too overboard. It gets on my contour, so I just like to do it one more time and just blend it. And make sure everything's nice and blended. <coughs> okay, you want to get down now? You get down. To set the under eyes, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. And we're just going to... Pop this right under there. Of course, for bronzer, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer, and we're just taking the JH05. Okay, so I went ahead and contoured my nose, and then I also put some of that bronzer under the, under the lower lash line already, just to get it out of the way, because I was already doing bronzer. And then I'm just dusting off the powder. And since this powder is already very highlighting for me, I'm not gonna go ahead and further highlight any extra, just dusting off the extra. For blush today, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Wet n Wild blush in the pearlescent pink shade this is limited edition for valentine's day i guess it's actually very pretty i have been loving this and it's very pigmented as well we're just gonna pop this on here To be honest, I feel very uncomfortable with this shirt on. I really, really want to change it, but I already started using it. So, yeah, I'm just letting y'all know that I feel a little <clears throat> comfortable. For highlight, I'm taking 24K Gold from e.l.f. My favorite. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at my brows. They're already all messed up. I don't like doing my brows first because I just feel like they always get powder or like rubbed off. <laughs> I'm gonna take that same highlight and pop it in the inner corner. We're also gonna pop it in the brow bone. That's our brow bone highlight. So then I'm taking the same light pink shade. Whoa, that's buttery. And we're gonna also pop it right in here. And then we're taking this one. Putting it right there. Oh. Taking the same pencil brush I used earlier. I'm gonna take that 
brown shade. And because it has leftover of like that dark brown, I'm not going to add any more like darker browns on the lower lashes. I'm just using whatever was left over on it. Just so it's not too dark. I want it to still look like pretty and not too dark. <laughs> I'm taking a brown from ColourPop. You guys, honestly, like there's a lot of drugstore liners. I just have this one that's brown. I don't want to use black. So yeah, we're just going to use this one. This is in the shade Woodsy. It's from the Raw Beauty Chrissy collection. So nice. Oh yeah, see like brown just looks so much softer and prettier. Mm. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. This is Mario Badescu setting spray. I'm sorry, that's like the only setting spray I use so I don't have like an actual drugstore one. That one's pretty affordable. So Miles came in my room and started playing with my lipsticks and was making a lot of noise. I'm almost done with the video though, so please bear with me. I went ahead and took the Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. This is from LA Girl, my favorite lip liner at the moment. And then for my lipstick, I went ahead and took the Milani Liquid Lipstick. I feel like these lipsticks don't get talked about enough because they're honestly so nice. One of my favorites from the drugstore because they're just so buttery and they're not super super drying but anyway this is actually the shade pretty and I took my finger and just blended a little bit on my lip line on my lips sorry with my lip liner I don't want to add too much just a touch and it's just so nice such a pretty pink I went ahead and took some mascara and just put it under my lower lashes Hi. guys I almost made it through the whole video I had to do my lipstick and stuff uh, with voiceover because Miles is literally here making so much noise so yeah but I almost made it the whole video without interruptions but this is what the makeup looks like now let me give you all a little zoom in I am very impressed at these eyeshadows you guys they are honestly just so nice like I said this one I'm not impressed with the mattes in this one I will say though this one right here oh my goodness like the matte shades are beautiful Beautiful. Every color in this palette is just gorgeous, you guys. So I highly recommend getting this one. And if y'all really, really love the shimmer shades, I feel like getting this one for the shimmer shades is worth it just because it's not even expensive. And you get these two pretty shades that remind me so much of the Jaclyn Hill palette, the first one. Like, I'm gonna look for them, but it reminds me so much of two shades that are in there. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, say bye everyone don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on my next video why am i still talking like that i'll see you guys on my next video bye okay bye bye